Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. What a wonderful Saturday night in California here. It's already Sunday morning around the globe. And we thank God for this very night and this very day that he has made. We are rejoicing and praising God because every day counts. Every minute counts. Every second counts. For being alive for such a time like this and serving the most high God. Oh, what a beautiful day. Father, we just want to give you the praise and honor and adoration. At this very time, as I come to the air, oh God, I pray that my God, my King, the listeners, oh God, will pay attention to the revelation that you are bringing, especially as we're dealing with the demor demonic uh, activities. We we'll pray in the name of Jesus that every strong man dealing with anybody, my God, my King, will be delivered after doing the, uh, this series in the name of Jesus. I cover the airways with the blood of Jesus. I bound the spirit, oh, that spirit of Airway, my God and my King, the principalities and powers of El Airways in all the nations. I take authority over you. I ban you and I command you to loose and let the people of God go in the name of Jesus. We'll give you praise and honor and adoration in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father, we'll give you praise. Hallelujah. My God, I'm so on the, um, on the demonology series. There's a lot to do. Uh, to, talk about and there's a lot to uh, learn because God is letting me deal with a lot of demonic, my God. Sometimes you can't even believe what is going on and it is it is real. It is real. Hallelujah. Uh, previous to uh, last week I was teaching about the lion spirit, one of the strong men and the uh, family spirit. It's a very trickish thing that is inside. So I, I want to go over it a little bit so if you if you are with me just go with me in second corinthians second chronicles chapter 18 the 18th chapter verse 22 and the 22 i try to bring it a little down up a little bit so that you can understand because it's a it's a setup and it's also uh it's a setup and it's also uh the way you decide to do something and you are not doing it right with God, you open the door for the lion spirit to come in because this is this is a case between two kings, Josephat, Joseph and uh, Ahab. But okay, let let let's see from uh, uh from verse four. Bible says, and Joseph has said unto the king of Israel, and cry, I pray thee at the word of the Lord today. Therefore, the king of Israel gathered together of prophets four hundred men and said unto them, Shall we go to Roman Gila to battle, or shall I forbear? And they said, Go up, for God will deliver it unto the king's end. But Joseph had said, Is there not there another prophet of the Lord beside that we might inquire of them? And the king of Israel said unto Joseph, There is yet one man, but by whom we may inquire of the Lord, but I hate him, for he never prophesied good unto me, but always evil. The same is Micah, the son of Emla, and Joseph has said, let not the king say so. Okay, I want to say here a little bit, uh, and uh, elaborate on it a little bit, to bring revelation into this very side. This very king, he wants to go to a war with another king, who has, he has joined himself together with him. And this king has bribed him, given him food, given him so many things. So now they are conspiring to go to war. But they want to hear from God. Sometimes when we don't want to hear from God and want to hear from our own desire because we have made our plans and this is what we want to do, then when it comes to God speaking to us, we don't want even to hear it. And Bible says this very situation, God was so upset to ascend that he sent a lying spirit, a lying spirit to come and be in the mouth of 400 prophets. Think about it. 400 prophets. Let's go down and see. And the king of Israel, Joseph, king of Judah, sat either of them on his throne, quoted in their robes, and they sat in a, a void place of the, of the entering in the gate of Samaria, and all the prophesied, prophesied before him. And Zedekiah, the son of uh, Chenena, made him horns of iron and said, That said the Lord. With this thou shalt push this, uh, Syria until thou be consumed. And all the prophets, uh, all the prophets prophesied so, saying, 
go up, go to Roman Gilad and prosper, for the Lord God shall deliver it unto the hand of the Lord, of the king. This is very sad. How can 400 prophets all prophesied one thing which was not from God? This is a strong, a strong spirit, lying spirit. As a believers, I believe that we need to be very eye open. We need to be in the, in the spirit of descending of the spirit, not to prophesy according to our own belly, not to prophesy according to our own idea of how to get rich quick. There's a, so many deception in the body of Christ. People put the title upon them as a prophet and apostle and all this sin. And what they are prophesying is according to their knowledge and understanding. Uh, I remember some time ago, the Lord showed me a vision. And in the vision, I was in a place. And this great man of God, which I'm not mentioning his name on earth, this great man of God was sitting down. There was a lot of people around him. And everybody was prophesying. And this uh, mega mighty man of God sitting down. And many people were prophesying. He was still sitting down. And what I saw was the Lord led me there. And from nowhere, when I entered inside, I started prophesying unto him. Then when I started prophesying, he just got up. And he said, everybody get out. This is the word I'm trying to hear. And this is the word I'm looking for. Then he got up. Then I wake up. And the Lord said to me that there are so many people who are given a prophecy, given a prophetic word that he has not sent them. That is serious. That is serious. There are so many people, there are so many people titled without that prophetic uh, title. And, and, and they are going out and prophesying a prophecy unto people because they want something from the people like money, property, or whatever it is. Because it's something connected to them that it is not from God, but they want it. And they do that to get that, uh, that thing from that person. But this is where the church has to rise up. Because not everybody will come and say that, oh, that says the Lord and this and that, mean that that person or that prophecy is from the Lord. We have to descend. We have to descend the spirit that is operating. We have to allow the gift of descending of the spirit. We have to know the word of God. We have to know the mind of God in that situation. Because otherwise we'll be deceived. I remember sometimes God has led me to so many things that is so profane. Sometimes I can't even understand. There was a lady in a church, some church, which I'm not mentioned. And he, she was uh, with another uh, family. And she turned herself like a prophetess. And she all the time go to them and prophesy everything, this and this and that. But I happened to be in their church one time. And when I was standing there, uh, she was going to do some problem. And another person said, go and see Dr. Sam or up and he will pray for you. Then he turned around and he said, no, this man, I'm not going there because he's so anointed. I'm not going to his side and this and that. So I didn't know about that. Later on, they, they told me. But uh, when I had a chance to talk to this lady, I sent a strong spirit of witchcraft. There's a witchcraft in the church. There's a familiar spirit. That's why I'm trying to stay focused upon uh, this thing and bring more inside. Uh, lying spirit and familiar spirit, they work hand to hand. And it's so deep to a sense that sometimes you cannot even differentiate which is which. There are people who are operating in witchcraft spirit and giving prophecy unto people that if you are not careful, you'll be doomed to go to hell. And they will put spell and altars up on, on you that you know because bad that the person has spoken. Familiar spirit is a spirit who knows all about you. He knows your movement. He knows everything about you. So he can say, all that he doesn't know is your deep future future. He doesn't know because it's not, it's not God. It's a, cre it's, it's, a, it's a creation. Hallelujah, somebody. So I want you to know that this lying spirit, God allowed it because the king was so ready to hear from a servant of God. He was so upset to the servant of God that when the servant of God came and tell him the truth, he doesn't want to hear it. He want to hear lies. Oh, yeah, there are some people in the house of God and everywhere, all that you, they want to hear. Oh, you prosper. You get this house. Oh, you do this and this and that and that. But when there is a replication by the Holy Spirit of character, character-wise and everything, they don't want to hear that. You know, there are some churches which is very bad, but God is allowing me to bring and expose sins. 
so that we can walk in the right. We have to balance the gospel. We cannot go out and preach the word. You will prosper and prosper whether you are walking in the iniquity. In the name of Jesus, God is coming. Jesus Christ is coming. But he's coming for a righteous church. Are you ready, my brother, my sister, oh God, that when he comes, you will find you right before him? What does the Bible say? It says, our husband and uh, wife will be in the farm and they will pay the husband or pay the wife or a son and leave the other. I don't want you to miss it. It is my duty or responsibility as a servant of God to speak nothing but the truth. Because Jesus said, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Hallelujah, somebody. Some churches, it's kind of like name, uh, uh, name prophets and the bishops and the apostles and the, all this. And all that they do, sometimes, you know, they don't care about the welfare of the people. What is going on? If you can give me a good money, I can put you on the front seat. If you can do this and sponsor this, and I don't care your character, what you are doing, and how you got the money. God forbid. In the name of Jesus, we don't want anything that is not of God into our life, but we want the blessings of God from heaven. The Bible says, the blessings of God make it one rich, but he added no sorrow. We don't want the devil to take control of our churches. I was watching some uh, video about, uh, about a lady talking about how uh, uh, her, her own uh, daughter was abused in a church, and, and uh, the son was so bad. Was so bad, and uh, it, it goes on back and forth, back and forth of the situation that is going on. Then I ask myself, is the Spirit of God over there? Are the people of God who go to the church, do they sense? Saints of God, it's about time we need to wake up. Because the devil, oh, the Bible says the devil himself are making himself like an angel of light. What about his followers? What about his servants? There are some people who have put on a sheep clothing, but inside of them, they are wolves. They are agents and entities, oh, agents who have sold themselves to Satan, and they are being used to destroy the good fruits, I mean the good apples, I mean the, the children of God. So it's about time we, the church, we need to arise up so that we are not going to be uh, tossed to and fro from here to here. When people hear about prophetic meeting, they run from here and this and that. At the end of the day, they come around and say, oh, you know what? This is what happened. This is what happened. This is what I, I regret of this. By the first place, were you seeking the face of the Lord? You don't want to make a movement without seeking the face of the Lord. Wait upon the Lord and let God speak to you through His word. Through audible, through whatever it is, you can descend as a child of God. He said, my, my sheep know my voice, according to Jesus. My sheep know my voice. So when I call them, they follow me. Are you hearing the voice of God? Or you are hearing a lying spirit? This very day, I want to challenge you. Even as we are about to end this uh, March and enter into the April, whether we're going to be in the Easter. I don't want you to walk in the same old ways of lying and old ways of uh, the, not discerning what uh, the Holy Spirit is doing, but rather the lying spirit and familiar spirit deceiving the body of Christ. This is a strong man. We need to recognize it and step out, oh God, and step out and bound the spirit and destroy the works of Satan. So the second chron Chronicles 18.22, you can read the whole scriptures from chapter uh, 18, verse 1 down, and it is very sad. You can go on to, on to Jeremiah 23, verse 14, Ezekiel 12, 24, and all dealing about all this lying spirit. And just as I said, this spirit, it deals with adultery. So that is very strong. So you see that leader preaching and praying and doing all this sin, and his or her lifestyle is not connected to the word of God, lying up to the word of God. You have to watch very careful. That there's a demonic, demonic spot of lying. And it deals with the profane languages, evil doers, and they, they, uh, hypo, hypocrisy, vanity, suspicious. And I told you about horoscope. This horoscope, you know, uh, I mean, saints are there and when they wake up in the morning, they are checking their stars. I don't know how, as a child of God, you'll be going out and checking your stars, whereby you want to send the one who created stars. I don't want to. I don't want to look at the moon and say, "Oh, this is my lucky." My, I'm not a lucky. I'm blessed in Christ Jesus. 
So your blessings got from heaven. You want to seek the one who created all these materials and bow your knee only to the ayah that I am, Messiah, Yeshua, who died for you. Bible says in the name of Jesus Christ, everything beside Jesus Christ is a fallen and, and a sinking ground. The solid ground is Christ Jesus. That is a period. Get yourself, if you are you are you are reading your horoscope and you are reading stars and finding my, my star, my this is, I'm Scorpio and this and that. Repent right now and give your heart to Jesus and ask God to forgive you and break that soul tie between that this is, because they are all spirit inside all this sin and they are all lying spirit. In the name of Jesus, I challenge you the spirit of divination is a very strong, powerful, powerful this is, that you don't want to mess up with that. And once they get you, they, want, they don't want to leave you. But I tell you today, if you are listening to me, and you have regret, and you have got on the sin, it's like, Pastor Sam, I don't even know that this is, 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 is not from God. But now you have known. Say so you know the truth, and the truth will set you free. So I want you to know, you want to repent right now. And say that, Lord Jesus, I repent of all this sin. I pray that you give me the gift of descending of the Spirit. So that I will not be to and fro by any doctrine. I, I, help me, Holy Spirit, to get educated in the word of God. To be established in his word. To know the truth and let the truth set me free. So that whenever I'm receiving any word, I can sense, I can descend uh, from my spirit and through the word of God. That this is from God or it's not from God. So that no devil, no demon, no Satan, whether it's a, it's a strong man or a little demon, will be able to, I mean, uh, mislead me in any way. In the name of Jesus, the book of John 1, 12, he said, as many as are called by the Holy Spirit, they are the sons, as many, as many are you one of them who hear the voice of God. They are the sons and daughters of the Lord. Are you one of them? Are you ready to listen to the Most High God, to listen to the Holy Spirit? Not a lying spirit, not a, a familiar spirit, not a spirit of divination, nor any witchcraft messing you, your mind up. One time I was in a, a, a church, and it was so sad. The moment I sat there, the place I was sitting, majority of the people around me all are, are walking in a, a spirit of divination and familiar spirit. I look at them, then I was like, Lord, we need your presence. It is the presence of God that makes a difference. When you wake up, make a time with God and worship God. Worship God. When the presence of God, the key to uh, uh, in deliverance over every supernatural or uh, uh, strong man is the presence of God. They cannot stay in the presence of God. So when you take your time and start worshiping God, and start praising God, and start magnifying the Lord, oh, the King of glory, and start exalting you, forget about your listen. The presence of God comes upon you and rope upon you. No devil, no demon can touch you. No demon can harass you. No demon can mislead you. Because you are walking in his presence. In his presence, the Bible says there's fullness of joy. In his presence, there's a peace. In his presence, there's a deliverance. In his presence, anxiety and depression or pressure will free without even commanding them in the name of Jesus. In the presence of God. When the presence of God comes into your room, when the presence of God comes into your house, what is happening is every chaos becomes cold. Every demon free. Every Satan power leaves because the presence of God is there with you. Hallelujah, somebody. My brother, my sister, we need to practice more of God's presence. Because you are living in a world, this 21st century, there, there are so many uh, tricks in the spirit that the enemy taking the form of a sheep at the same time too, there's a big wall. Before you lies, your daughter has been destroyed. Before you lies, your husband, your spouse has been destroyed. Before you lies, your business that you started with a godly idea that has been destroyed. You know how many churches... Or how many men and women of God that is that good? Just I want you to study about Second Chronicles chapter eighteen. How many ministers? This case they started good. Ahab or uh, Joseph? They started good, but what happened along the line? They started buying the lies of the enemy. They don't want to hear the truth even from the uh, right man of God. 
But they want to hear the word, you are prosper, you are this and this and that, and that is it. But they say, when did they tell you, get away from that girlfriend, get away from that boyfriend, get away from that this and then they go crazy about that. Why? Because they don't want to hear the truth. They are following their carnal mind. But God is a righteous God, he's a holy God. He's looking for people who worship him in holiness and in truth and in spirit and walk in his way so that he can baptize them and fill them with his power and his anointing so that he can use them to destroy the works of the enemy. You cannot walk in, in a certain ground. Your one leg is in certain ground and one leg is in the house of God. And say, I command you, Satan, to come up. It doesn't work that way. Because you know why? Devil himself, you know, you say, you are, you are mine. So why are you telling me that I should come up? You cannot bring me out. But when you are living a lifestyle of holiness and righteousness, when you are living a lifestyle of, of, of I mean, intimacy with the Holy Spirit, Practicing the presence of God day and night and having an encounter with the Holy Ghost all the time and having intimacy with Him in the morning, afternoon, in the evening. My brother, it's just like you are bringing heaven on earth upon your life. Wherever you go, you'll be an atmosphere changer. Wherever you go, things change for the glory of the King of Kings. Wherever you go, whatever you say, and then you must scream and free away because you are carrying, you are carrying God's kingdom. We have to be in a place that we should be a God career of God's kingdom in wherever you go because we are ambassadors of Christ Jesus. We need to make a difference. We have to let the devil and the world know that we are, we are the representatives of Christ on earth. We are the mouth speak of God. We are the eyes speak of God. But everything that concerns us is to glorify the Lord God. Oh my God, my God. I'm a shot of all. Uh, time but i'm never short of words because there's so much i want to share with you by this very time i want to pray with you hallelujah somebody i want to pray with you but i don't want to close my broadcast without allowing you to receive christ jesus as your personal savior so you say that oh i don't know christ jesus you're talking about jesus jesus but today if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that christ jesus will die and rose for a gift you shall be saved. The mouth is confession. The heart has to believe that he came in the flesh and died for you. If you are saved, listen up to me. Jesus has already saved you. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Touch my brother, touch my sister, touch each and every one who has heard this voice. And my God, my can I receive you as his personal savior. Let their life never be the same. Bless them and change them and transform them in the name of Jesus. I want to invite you tomorrow. In a special service that is coming up. Tomorrow, if you are living in South California here, just watch out. Rosemary, uh, Rosemary uh, City, the information is all on the listen. I'm doing a one night only healing service. This is powerful, miracle, science, and wonder. So invite your brother, invite your sister, invite everybody to come. The address is on the screen, you will know. Come and have an encounter with Jesus. I tell you, your life will never be the same. I'm believing God for a tsunami anointing that will transform and change you and bring healing and deliverance into your life in the name of Jesus. So you want to hear more sermon? You want to hear and have an encounter with Jesus? Tomorrow night, 6.30, 7 o'clock, I want to see you there. Bring anybody who is dealing with any demonic activities. Bring anybody with all kinds of sickness and disease. And Jesus, the Messiah, will heal that person. I bless you and I pray that the king of glory will watch over you and protect you with his angels until we meet tomorrow or next week. Shalom, peace be upon you. And remember, Jesus Christ is still the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he is Lord. God bless you. I love you. And I can't wait to see you tomorrow. This is Dr. Samuel Rockman. Love you, my sister. Love you, my brother. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.